Welcome back to Tennis Talk, my name's Cam Williams, and the 2023 season is only 24 hours away, so we've got the predictions for the WTA Grand Slam champions, the ladies champions for next year. Let's go through your picks for the Australian Open in a couple of weeks time. This is who you guys have picked for the Australian Open and you've got Iga Swiatek now well and truly the best player of the season in 2022 and you picked her ahead of Jabir and Garcia. So interesting to see how Swiatek does. Got to the semi-final this year, so not a bad pick. I've actually gone with Garcia for this one because I feel like the Australian Open with the heat and the court surface being a bit quicker might favor some of those bigger hitters and I think Swiatek might struggle a little bit. So I'm going to go with Garcia just to be a little bit different for the first tournament of the season. Having got the French Open now and again, you guys have gone with Igish Fiontech who is the defending champion and I've also gone with Igish Fiontech. She lost one match on clay this year. So hard to pick against her at the French Open. The slower the surface gives her a little bit more time to hit the ball. Actually picked her ahead of Jabir and Goff. So I agree. Fiontech French Open. I think she is the clay court queen at the moment. Having got Wimbledon now and this was the closest votes because of course Wimbledon has been a little bit random over the years for the ladies and you guys have also gone with Fiontech so it's again so hard to not pick her I guess because she had such a good season but who else are you gonna pick it's always very tough I've actually gone with Sabalenka now I picked Sabalenka to win the Wimbledon this year of course didn't get to play because of the ban to the Russian and Belarusian players but I'm gonna go with her this year because I think that Wimbledon are gonna let them play and I'm gonna go with Sabalenka I think her game suits the courts of Wimbledon and I think she can get the win there. But you guys are going to I'm going to Sabalenka. We'll see what happens. It might be someone totally different. And heading to the US Open now. And again, you guys have gone with Iga Sviantec. So Sviantec all round to win every single slam. Now she's going to probably win at least one or maybe two of those. So you're probably not going to get too many wrong. And obviously she is the defending champion at the US. But I'm going to go with Ons Jabeur. I think that she was so close in that final. She played so well up until the final at the US Open. Much better than she did at Wimbledon. And she did lose to Sviantec in the end, which is not a bad result. So I'm going to go with Ons Jabeur. I think she could win the US Open next year. But again, it's so hard to pick anyone outside of Sviantec because she dominated for so long this year. So there they are. They are the predictions for the year. And look, I can't blame you guys for picking Sviantec every single tournament because she's probably going to win one or two of those events. But I've tried to go a little different. Look, to be honest, we could have maybe Sviantec winning two of those and then two completely random champions. Who thought we're going to get Sviantec winning two slams this time last year? Who thought Rabakina was going to win a slam this time last year. And don't forget tournaments in the past with players like Krejcikova winning slams, Raducanu. I mean, it's always going to be random at some point. So, Sviantec's a safe pick. I've tried to be a little bit different, maybe not too different, because I picked kind of two, three, four, five players in the world after Sviantec. But it's going to be interesting to see how it looks this year, but it's going to be interesting to see how it looks this time next year. They are the predictions for the Grand Slam champions for the ladies.